The FIBA Under-19 World Cup ended yesterday, and all in all, Gonzaga men's basketball had a great showing. Current, future, and potential Zags players from around the world were very impressive this weekend. Let's start with an overview of how the guys that are currently on the team did. The story for current sophomore guard Joel Ayayi was that he got buckets. In four of the seven games he played, he scored over 25 points in each of them. He finished third in scoring for the tournament. He even hit big shots late in games time and time again. Made some deep threes, but only a 30% three-point shooter in the tournament. However, he did shoot 61% from inside the arc. Now it's about if he can put it together with a good season at Gonzaga. Sophomore forward Philip Petrushev had himself quite the tournament too. He scored a lot, he rebounded a lot, and well, he even passed well. The forward was consistent throughout the World Cup. He only had one game where he didn't score 15 points. Petrushev also averaged 10 rebounds, making him a double-double machine. His ability to pass out of the post was a nice sight to see, and he averaged a couple of blocks a game too. If he can put up all this together come next season, it's easy to see why he's on NBA draft boards for next summer. This guy was the most impressive guy to meet. 2019 commit Omar Ballo was a bully inside. He averaged about 18 points, 12 rebounds, and four blocks a game. He did this all as a 16-year-old. Granted, he's turning 17 in five days, but it was easy to see why people are calling this dude a baby shack. I'm fairly confident he could contribute right away at Gonzaga because how how he played against America in the championship game. He scored 15 points, nabbed seven rebounds, and totaled three blocks. And that's against guys that some of them are already playing NCAA basketball. So he's surely a player Zags fans should be excited about. 2019 commit Martinez Arlaskis represented Lithuania in the tournament. Overall, he didn't stand out a whole lot at the World Cup. His offense struggled from two-point range. He only shot 30%. I don't think he'll be getting a lot of playing time his freshman year at GU. 2020 commit Julian Strother had some explosive offensive performances. He dropped 40 points and grabbed 10 rebounds against Russia yesterday. That was a tournament high for points. He also had a game where he scored 35 points in group play. That was tied for the second highest scoring performance at the tournament. Strother did most of his damage from inside the arc. He was making some tough finishes around the rim, and he's just 17 years old. He turned that a couple months ago, so also the head band was a solid fashion choice. I think he should go ahead and bring that to Gonzaga. This guy isn't really committed to Gonzaga, but I think he's going to end up being a Gonzaga Bulldog, a Bulldog player in the future. 2020 recruit Jalen Suggs is good friends with Strother and also 2020 commit Dominic Harris. The first couple of games, he started out of the gate slow, but at the last five games, he really started to pick it up. He showed off a lot of fancy passes, but only shot 30% from the field. Uh, Suggs did get to the free throw line a pretty decent amount, so that was pretty good. He also came up with a solid amount of steals. He had six in a game against Lithuania. Suggs is one of the best guards in his class. I think he's eventually going to commit to GU, and he's going to be very good. Moving